So, like I said, I was born this time, ladies, and I picked up a natural color because I just knew this wig will look so good in natural color, and I am so glad that I did because it does. It looks so good. It looks real. You can't tell me it's not my hair. Girl, it's my hair. Don't come for me. Don't come for me. It's my hair. I keep telling you guys, it's my hair, okay? channel so today I'm super 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 excited because we have a collaboration yay with Sam's Beauty so I have been ordering from Sam's Beauty for probably about eight years now um, when I first started to wear wigs they are one of the um, online companies you knew that you could order from and you will actually get what they say you're going to get um, I was really glad when they reached out to me about doing a collab with them yay thank y'all so much um, so this is my first collab with Sam's Beauty so the wig that um, they end up sending me is Jayla and I have it from the Perfect Hairline Collection. So this is it. Now I did pick this wig up in a natural color, and I know you're like, eh, what's the, you know, what's the big deal? Really, for me, these natural colors with the lace that comes with these units, it's like, uh, it's everything. So let's go on and get into this one. Um, this line obviously is no stranger. I've been reviewing it all week long for at least the last two weeks. Um, this one does have the full scalp that we all kind of like in, you know, about. Um, and it does come with 13 by 6 lace. So you can do a couple different styles with it and everything. So this is the box of that of this one. And um, I do have it in the color 1B. So it is heat safe. Let's go ahead on and get into So there's that faux scalp for those who have not, who just ran across this video and you do not know what I'm talking about. This is the scalp. It's like an extra piece of lace that they put underneath. We're going to go ahead on. I'm going to cut that out. You do get two combs in this. You do get a uh, um, strap in here to help hold the wig down. Um, and I love the texture of this. It's almost like a perm yakky in a way. It's not like yakky yakky and it's definitely not silky, but it feels good. It feels better than their other textures. So as you guys can see, you do get that lace. Now I think that the lace looks a little bit tinted, but again, it could be me because I was staring at it like, is this lace tinted? Okay, okay, I'll try. So let's go ahead on and get the wig on. Okay, you guys, so we're gonna go in and cut off that faux scalp. We don't need it. So what I'm doing is I'm just going around the back of the cap where it's connected and I'm cutting it out. So you can do this yourself. Just be really, really careful. Take your time and you can cut that out. So it comes off and it's more like a, like a stocking in a way than it is a lace. And that's what I'm kind of showing you. You see how I have it peeled up and you can see the difference. One is darker and like I said, it's not really like a lace like the front. So I'm going to do that, I'm going to go ahead on and I'm going to put some powder on there so we can go ahead and darken it and melanate this scalp a little bit. I'm using my Physicians Formula Powder um, today. I like that powder a lot because it blends in very well as you guys can see. The knots look really good on this to be a synthetic wig. So I'm going to go ahead on and put on my black cap. I pull it halfway back just to get my braids up and then we're going to get this wig situated. Girl look at that. Yes, 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 yes. I'm brushing it back. This is my hair, you guys. You can't tell me it's not. This is so cute. I love the hairline on this already. I was looking like, oh, I don't have to do too much. So, the lace does come all the way down. As you guys can see, I'm pulling it just to get it nice and straight. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to cut this. I'm going to go ahead and make four slits in this. This is the best way to cut it um, if you are struggling with cutting your lace. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to make four slits. And then I'm going to slowly begin to cut it around my hairline. Now, if you're the type of person like to spray it first, you can go ahead and spray it and then tie it down and then go back and cut it. And then you just have to go in and lay your edges down. What I'm doing on this side is I'm going to go ahead and spray that side down so that it won't move because as I was pulling it around, it was moving. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm going to spray some of my bed head on here. And look how that lace is melting. Can we give it up for the melt, girl? It's like it's coming out of my scalp. I love it. So getting to do my edges on the side by my ear is always the hardest part for me. So I want to pull it all the way down, but I don't want it to come down like too far where it's like on my cheeks. So what I'm doing is I'm just trying to really measure it. Just take your time over here. You know, when it comes to these wigs, you just have to really take your time if you want to get them perfect. So I just started using this bowl hole gold. I saw somebody using it. I don't know who was using it, so I can't give credit, but I will leave you an Amazon link below. And what I'm doing is that side over there where the sides are, 
they never stay down with the spray for me so I've been using this stuff and it's clear and all you have to do is like put just a teeny bit on blow dry it slightly and then you can go ahead and you can lay those sides down and they stay down perfectly so I absolutely love that that's what I'm doing here so once we get that side down um, and we get the air on there I'm using cool air you guys I usually go back between cool air and warm air so after I do that and look at that look at that girl you cannot tell me these are not my edges yes ma'am and you just gonna lay it down and push it in and it looks effortless you guys I love this stuff again I forget who told me about it but sis you did a good job this is so good I love this stuff and it's clear and you don't have to worry about that crusty build up yes so I'm gonna go back over it with some of my bed hair and that's just to just you know solidify the edges where the hair is because I like it to look salon fresh and so you're just gonna go in and keep doing that and as you see them edges are coming together it looks really good so if I want to pull it up and pull the whole front up I will be able to do so so now we're going to go ahead on and go in and take up that piece that I sprayed down. I'm going to use my eyebrow razor for that and that's just to give it a jagged edge and so that the lace won't look too, um, you, won't, you won't get that line where it just looks too uniform. So going in, I'm going to leave a little bit of lace on that side. That's so that I can put my edges down on there. You guys, this hairline is already coming together. Tying it down just for a little bit and then um, after that we're going to you know, take it out and we're going to go in and we're going to do some baby hairs and edges and grown people hairs whatever you want to call them so we're gonna pull some out and I'm just gonna lay them down softly um, I'm gonna use some of my wax and I'm just gonna lay it down softly and put I'm also gonna put some of my mousse on there so um, I like doing it this because it covers up my edges and then um, after that I'll go in and I'm gonna take care of some of that residue like I said you guys this hairline on here looks super good it is slightly squared up in the front just a little bit but that may be just the way that my hairline um, sits and I'm always trying to cover my edges so I'm just gonna go through and um, I'm gonna brush it and get some of that um, shedding out because it's shedding only because I cut you know close by the lace other than that I didn't get shedding um, throughout this wig or anything like that so now I'm going to go in and I'm going to tint the lace a little bit more around the hairline I'm using my positions formula for that and I'm also going to leave you some leftover um, powder um, that is from my makeup brush so to make it salon sleek and get it nice and flat I don't feel like this really had to be done but I did go in with my hot comb and you guys when I did that I feel like this wig seriously just came to life like look at that it's so nice and flat so the wig that we have today is Jaylani and it is in the color 1B. So this wig is from Outre, the perfect hairline. You guys, if you've been watching me all week or any anywhere on the YT, you know that Outre has just taken over 2020, girl. And the only thing I have, the only small beef that I have with Outre is these faux scalps. So this one here, as you guys probably can see, it came with a faux scalp. Child, we don't even need any extra scalps. I keep saying that. I keep yelling. But they already made these wigs. I think they got the message because the new ones that I just reviewed, if you have not seen that, I will link it below. Those do not have a faux scalp. Thank you. Thank you, Altre. No faux scalps needed. This is you guys' first time joining me on the channel. Let me tell y'all. Thank you, girl. Thanks for pulling up on the girl. Thank you. So I bring videos a couple times a week, mostly wig reviews and definitely synthetic wigs. I like to throw them all and get it done and get it done quick. Mostly it's wig content, so synthetic wigs. So if you guys are interested in that, look around the channel after you watch this video and subscribe. Hit the bell and hit all and turn on all your notifications so you'll be notified every time I upload. So as you guys know, we are in the middle of wigmas. So let me go ahead and just throw it out there. <laughs> I love wigmas because we get so many from collaborations to different wigs to different styles. The YT is just uh, bomb, okay? So first thing, we'll do is some cons. And all I'm going to tell you guys, the only con I have with um, Jaylani, the only one con I have, one, one, one con, is going to be the scalp. Everything else about this wig, to me personally, in this color is gorgeous. I have any cons um, with this. The only con that I have, like I said, is that you're going to have to one, tint the lace. We're used to that, so it's not even a con anymore. It's just like tint the lace. Let's just get you something out. Tint the lace. So like I said, I didn't have that many cons with it. Just the full scalp. So getting into pros for me, um, everything else. 
everything else is a pro for me okay um the length of it is great it's not too long it's not too short i love the length i love how this hair flows i love how this hair feels this hair feels amazing you guys like oh it is not silky it's not yakky it's just that great texture and the shine on this it's not too shiny this here this is the kind of hair that screams i came from the hairdresser or i went and spent the bank on the hair but you didn't spend it you know what i'm saying that's really good like i said this hairline came out really good i love it you guys know how my edges come out so i was able to like swoop and put something there so other than that it's nice um and then i can pull this up if i want to i did glue down the end so if i want to just go and pull that bad boy up like so look at that look at that i can pull that up i did take this little clip and put it in there i thought that was super cute um, I think she's a must have and I think she's one of the ones you're just going to put in your wardrobe and just wear in your wig wardrobe and just wear it um, at, when needed but all in all I really like this wig like she is gorgeous to me I'm going to take this clamp out you guys look how easy my hands run through this hair look at that look at that look at that and look how I could just pull it up look at the hairline it is super nice, super nice. So thanks again to Sam Beauty for collaborating with me. I appreciate you guys participating in Wigmas. And let me just say, happy Christmas Eve. Yeah, it's Christmas Eve. So thank you guys for catching the video today. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Return to subscribers and YouTube babes. Hey, girl, hey. If you guys decide to share this video or any of my videos on your social media platform, you guys know the deal. Don't forget to tag me in Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or TikTok. The name is Beauty Mark. I will see you ladies and gentlemen in my next video. Bye.